Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. I'm over here in Bayside, Texas. Bayside currently has a population of 267 people. That makes it the 1105th largest city in Texas that also makes it the 15,484th largest city in the United States these facts can't be wrong I've got them from the internet <laughs> came across the new website thought that was pretty interesting I don't know how true it is but uh it's hard to believe that there's only 15,000 larger places than Bayside, Texas. I love Bayside. Uh, Hurricane Harvey did a number on it. You'll see from some of the roads we're going to drive over today. They're uh, badly pitted. Some of the homes we'll see today are still damaged from Hurricane Harvey. They got hit super hard. A lot of damage. They lost a lot of uh, people moved out of the area. No deaths here. No direct deaths. But um, businesses, several businesses uh, were lost to the town. And it's a real shame. It's across Copano Bay from uh, the Live Oak uh, Rockport Peninsula. And we've done more detailed videos here before. I just wanted to maybe show you some of the streets that we haven't gone down in the past. I said it in the other videos the last few days, but as much as I love being at the beach, I feel like I need to get a little, uh, little bit of Texas. That's for my friend Kathy at Flower Folk Farm repurposing uh, trellises. Bayside has a lot of sand roads, gra gravel roads, and quite a few pitted blacktop roads. They have a few nice roads as too. It does have its own post office. It even has a historic home that we've shown in other videos, and we'll take a drive over there in a little bit. Working class town. Most of the properties are kept up really nice. Just like any part of the world, there are some properties that need work. Sounds like they have a few seagulls here. We're only a block off the bay, off Copano Bay. The town does have a uh, convenience store, like a gas station convenience store. And there are some really nice houses, you can tell, just not everyone had the money to fix up their place, and some people took the insurance money and just moved away. Sometimes the insurance doesn't cover everything you need done. And then there's just some gorgeous, I mean, look at the detail on the trim here. Most of Bayside is in really good shape, the, the, the private homes. People upkeep them, and people live here full time there are some houses along the water that are just vacation homes but I really like Bayside this is where my buddy Greg lived when uh, we did the Bayside videos and went to Bonnie View and uh, St. Mary's are all nearby I like this 
It's a she shed. For all you ladies that always wanted a she shed. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in there. I wouldn't be recording you. <laughs> she's hard at work in her she shed. And she's got a garden here. So this is the Woods Mansion. It's hard to tell from reading online, but it is either the oldest house or one of the oldest houses in Refurio County. It was built in 1875. And it was owned by Major Woods, who fought in the Texas War for Independence. He was a large, he had a large ranch and the headquarters of the ranch was in nearby Bonnie View. And this was heavily damaged during Hurricane Harvey. And it looks like they have made progress since we were last here. But this town could use an influx of money just to get their streets repaired. And it would be nice if this was completely restored. And I imagine that cost a small fortune. This does have its own Texas um, historical marker, but we've read it several times as we have the other markers in the area. There's some markers down by the water and we've read them in the past. But it's a nice quiet town. Nice home right on the water with a little view tower there and some gorgeous flowers. Anyone know what kind of flowers they are? They sure are pretty. The bay is directly behind me, so all the, these homes here are all waterfront properties. And what I like is each one is completely different. There's no cookie cutter house is here not painted any beach colors either no no light purple houses on this street I bet you that's got a gorgeous view must be nice you can go right out your front door and cross the street and there's a fishing pier I would say this house was built with hurricane protection in mind. And I'm off on one of the little back gravel roads now. Just checking out the various properties and trying to go down a few streets that I've never gone down before. Show you guys something new. And I apologize guys if the microphone's getting wind. You know, a few years ago, there's an island uh, out there in the bay and three people got stranded on the island. They had food and water, but no one ever came to rescue them. Well, one morning, a bottle washed up on the shore and when they opened the bottle, there was a genie inside. He said, I will grant you three wishes. The first guy said, I'd love to be home with my wife and kids. The genie granted his wish instantly. The second one said, I wish I was in a bar with a great looking woman and some whiskey. Genie instantly granted his wish. The third guy said, you know, it's awful lonely here. I wish I had my friends back. I know that was a long drive for that joke. Property's a little overgrown, but a lot of these have people living in them. I guess they just don't want uh, people from YouTube driving by and filming their homes. Notice we haven't heard any uh, music blasting from people in golf carts and boats. And there are those lovely, lovely trestles again. Start to head back out of town. And uh, that's how I knew I did a, fur, a full circle. We came back to the trestles. 
I think my friend Kathy uh, saved fancy metal frame headboards and repurposed them for her garden from Flower Folk Farm. No, that's Anita. Kathy's Little Garden Big Dreams. Come on, Dennis. Stop paying attention to the road in the video and get your facts right. <laughs> All those channels, there's a link in the description. Vote the moral high ground. I hope we all do that. Well, guys, I think it might be a good time to go check out Port Aransas before the Memorial Day weekend comes and things get a little too crazy for me. I'm old. I'm tired. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Thanks for riding along today, guys. Thanks for watching.